Hey everyone, Luke here from Bedford Cameron Video, and I've got another episode of What's in the Bag. And today we're going to be talking about the F-Stop Tilopa 50 liter. So this is a really large bag. It's a 50 liter bag, but it doesn't really feel like it. So we have this bag loaded down with about 36 pounds of camera gear. Now, I want to start walking through a lot of the features on the outside and then we'll break into the inside. Now, there is a ton of different things you can do from the exterior of this bag, not to mention even more when you add some of the accessories that you can get for this bag from F-Stop. Now, for the first thing where I want to talk about is out front. This has a tripod holding system right on the front of it. It's utilizing a clip and strap system, but there's a little bit more to it than what you would initially think. So if I go ahead and undo this and slide out this tripod, you'll notice that it has a clip that goes across the front of the bag that really helps secure the tripod in. It also has a lower clip here really utilized for someone that is trying to trek with skis or a snowboard or something like that that is significantly longer so that you have more options of securing your tripod or equipment. Now, on the bottom of this, you also have a pocket. This pocket is designed to put the foot of a tripod into and you'll notice that it actually has a hole at the bottom of this for drainage. So if you're utilizing your tripod in a wet condition, such as a river, a creek, something like that, a lot of times it actually will hold some water over time. So that will allow it to drain out properly and not soak your bag. Now, the outside of this bag is designed with a ripstop nylon for superior durability. Now, on the bottom side of this bag, you'll notice that it actually has a different type of material. And that material is going to be a rubberized, weather sealed type of material so that if you set this bag down on a, a moisture rich environment, it's not going to seep through to your camera gear. Now, on the outside here still, there's going to be a padded part here that is going is designed to wear well with a tripod on it. It also has these little bungee cables up top that is designed to hold hiking poles or something of that nature as well. Now, there is a large compartment right here on the front side of this bag that opens up really wide. And this is gonna be great for putting things that you need quick access to, such as a wallet, a phone, something of that nature. Now, the great thing about all of these zippers is a YKK weather resistant zipper so that it is designed to be through the elements. Now, let's go ahead and zip that up and start looking at the others. Now, from here, we're gonna go to the side. It has more straps on the side so that you can attach it, even a tripod on the side of your bag if you don't want to remove access to that front pocket. So if I go ahead and unclip this, I've got a full size water bottle. Now, a great thing about this pocket on both sides, it's the same. You actually have a Velcro expansion. So if you're not wanting to utilize this pocket to the full capability and packing it full, you can actually make it more minimal and out of the way. At the bottom of this bag on the side, you'll notice that there's another handle. It's designed so that you can pull it easily out of a, a trunk or the truck bed. And it'll also be great for attaching other accessories like carabiners and so on. So when we go to the other side here, you notice that it has the same exact uh, pocket structure as the other side. You have two clips so that you can secure another tripod or something of that nature. You can expand this pocket with the Velcro so that it's a larger pocket. And then you have another accessory handle here. Now, the great thing about this bag too is the fact that it has a built-in bladder holder. So this is designed for people that are really wanting to go out and trek through the woods and have a significant uh, 
travel in the camping realm or hiking realm. This is great because you can put a bladder in there so that you can run your actual um, H2O hose out and it will clip into your strap. So you're gonna have it right there ready to go. A great feature about that pocket is the fact that it is also weather sealed. So on the inside, if your uh, bladder leaks, it is perfectly fine. It's not going to seep into your camera gear. Now, on the top of this bag, there's a couple of pockets. On the top, you're going to have an, a quick, easy access pocket so that you can put um, some smaller items in. I'm gonna unzip that one. Got a full-size rain jacket. Now, there are pocket and uh, there are mesh dividers in here with other zippers that you can keep things separated very easily. Now, when I get into the inside, you'll start to see kind of how it all comes together. Now, let's go ahead and talk about these straps really fast. So, these straps are designed so that you can carry a significant amount of weight in this bag comfortably. It's going to have adjustments for the shoulders so that it can pull the weight away from your shoulders and neck and disperse it more to your torso and waist. Now, on this, it's going to have multiple D-rings so that you can easily attach any further accessories you may need. On the chest strap, it has an integrated whistle for safety measures. Now, on the waistband itself, there are multiple adjustments so that you can uh, tighten this around your waist properly. It also has plenty of hook loops for additional accessories. And then you have an, a uh, backside loaded camera compartment. This compartment is designed with a ton of padding on the back so that you're comfortable when you're carrying a lot of weight. There's a really cool way about this bag is that you can open it up from either the back side or you can slide the whole mechanism out and have your entire cube ready to go. Now, let's go ahead and break this open and see what all we have in here. Okay, so as we open this up, you'll notice on the inside here, You'll notice on the inside of the lid that there are additional sections so that you can attach accessories, cables, and so on. It has a built-in pocket up top so that you can easily access that even if you unzip the bag halfway. Now, there is a ton of gear in here. So the first thing I'm gonna pull out, we got the A7C with the 28 to 60. The Sigma, uh, 50 millimeter 1.5 uh, 1.4 the Sigma 20 or the 14 to 24 2.8 we've got a Ninja Atomos V we've got the 35 millimeter 1.4 and the 24 to 70 2.8 not to mention a7R4 with the new 150 to 500 millimeter from Sigma as well. But there's still more. We've got a extra hard drive for the Ninja, lavalier microphone, transmitter and receiver for the microphone, a monitor mount, extra battery for the monitor, two card cases and a battery charger. Now there's also an additional compartment for your laptop on the other side of this cube. For that, I'm going to access this from the top. I've got a full size sleeping bag here. Thirteen-inch MacBook Pro, and more compartments to store things. So on the inside, the main compartment, you're going to have an additional uh, zipper pocket here with a mesh fitting, so you can see what's inside of it. Now, 
this is a really cool design because the bag itself has an aluminum frame just like a traditional pro-end hiking bag or a cross-country bag so it's going to have a real rigid feel even if there's nothing in it now the great thing about these bags from f-stops is the fact that they utilize a cube compartment this will allow you to actually slide out the entire compartment for your camera gear why is that important well, if your bag gets super dirty and you need to easily clean it, you don't have to remove every piece of equipment you have. You can remove just that one compartment and everything's out of the bag. That makes it really great for a day use as well. If you don't want to take a lot of camping gear or camera gear and you need camping, no problem. This will be the bag for you. You can get multiple different sizes of these cubes as well. So if you have different uh, camera kits that you want to utilize for different reasons, you can then separate everything out and slide in just what you need. Now, if you notice on the sides of this, it has two little Velcro straps on either side. And what that is designed for is so that you can loop it in on the inside of the bag so that it does not move around at all. And all of this camera gear fits into this bag very simply and it's still comfortable even though it weighs 36 pounds so if you're in the market for a bag that is designed for the adventurer this bag is incredible it fits so much gear camping hiking camera it does not matter it will fit it in there So if you want to add this to your gear, go ahead and visit us online at bedfords.com or visit your local store. I'm Luke from Bedford Camera and Video, and we'll catch you next time.